necessary for financial service companies, particularly those in the investment arena, to redesign and reposition their brand in order to regain market confidence and stand out from their competitors? Well, brand specialist and MD of HKLM, Sean McCoy, and MD of Investment Solutions, Derek Mcb is here to discuss this further. Plus, we're joined by this week's guest host, Group Executive of Ogilvy South Africa, Andre Lombard. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you so much. How Thank important you. is branding at the banking sector? Really from my perspective, the, the concept of branding in the sector is, 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 is critical. Mm -hmm. I think just in terms of your introduction, change for change's sake um, is not a solution. Um, so I think, you know, from, a, from is it important? Absolutely. But based on strategic intent, based on shifts in the market, based on key issues, both challenges and opportunities, those would be the drivers for considering uh, the rejuvenation or the change in a brand, not just change for... Yeah. For it's, quite a, it's quite a conservative sector as well. And, uh, Change, changes seem to happen incre incrementally sometimes, mm. and sometimes they're vast or, or, or quite major changes. Mm. Um, and, and under which circumstances would that happen? Well, I think if the brand is severely damaged, you would have okay. to do something radical, which is more of a revolution. Okay. Uh, but generally, because of the customer base that Absolutely. you deal with, you also need to take their needs and their perceptions into consideration. And that's why most uh, brand changes have tended to be quite uh, evolutionary as opposed to being revolutionary. But um, being visible when you're managing that amount of money on behalf of other people is, is an imperative because mm. they have to consistently have confidence mm. uh, in what you stand for and have a very good understanding of why they actually transact with you. So brand visibility and, uh, and brand positioning is absolutely critical. Yeah. Sh should one be spending s a large amount of money on branding though for the banking sector, Sean? Yeah, I think it's a how long is a piece of string question. I yeah. think, uh, Again, large amount of money, um, I think it's, it's, it's relative. Mm -hmm. uh, making a, an appropriate level investment, I would say, would, 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 would be essential. So undoubtedly, like most things in business, one needs to make the investment. But again, it's got to be relative to the organization. Uh, and again, well-defined objectives, um, good execution, you know, uh, well thought through solutions relevant to target markets. I think one can also build brand and reputation cost effectively. So. Mm shouldn't be seen as wasteful, should be seen as, as an investment in yeah. building building reputation and, and enhancing returns. Mm. That should Derek, be, that's yeah. a fine line one tr straddles, so, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Mm. I was going to ask uh, Derek, mm. what you've just come through some uh, brand repositioning. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, I mean, we, we took a decision that uh, in spite of the market downturn, it was very important for us to invest in what our business is about, which is really intangible. We don't have... Um, uh, plant and, and that sort of thing. We really rely on our people and 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 those the essence of our brand. And we felt that, in spite of the uh, dip in the market, it was a good time for us to give confidence to our clients over how our business has changed and how relevant it will be for them going forward. And after 13 years being in the in the multi management industry, it was probably an appropriate time for us to remind our customers how we've evolved. Uh, at the same time, how we remain relevant to making sure that they can grow and protect their assets. And Sean, was it a, an evolutionary change or was it quite quite radical? And it was quite interesting because I think we found we found the happy medium almost between okay. the two where there's a lot of equity in the name, so that yes. you know, na na the name stayed constant. Um, so that 13 years that Derek alludes to was captured in the name. But I think to the credit of Derek and the executive team, there was also a boldness that uh, said we, we were taking a strategic shift. We want to lift our game in terms mm -hmm. of international reach and, and be seen to be um, and get fully international and global, not seen to be, but to, 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 to visualize that. So there was, a, there was an appetite to signal change. And in, in, t in terms of the process, there was an exploration of the very conservative, almost yeah. expected steps to something more, uh, something a little bolder. And, and the team took quite a bold step forward, mm -hmm. but cognizant of the fact that trust, heritage, yeah. stability was anchored in the name. So we felt we found a happy medium. A happy medium mm -hmm. between and the and, and do, does the community, investment community out there understand the relationship between investment solutions and Alexander Forbes? Is that, a, is that an issue at all? It, it's not an issue. I think they understand that that's our heritage. And also they understand that in some instances uh, we have a wall between ourselves. But yes. by and large um, we're part of the same group and we're really proud of the heritage that uh, that brand has given us. But at the same time we've got a degree of independence uh, in how we deal with some of our clients. And you know, there are differences in how what the brands and what the entities do. We are largely an investment management business. The rest of the group is largely a, uh, an administrative and uh, and, and other and, and uh, risk services. Yeah. 
At, at what point should a company or a bank realize that they need to rebrand? Is that only when they're going through a dip? At what, at what point do they realize that? It's a question of strategy. Mm. I mean, brand but is... But you can't possibly be rebranding every time you strategize. Well, strategy should not be something that changes every year. I think tactics might change every year, but if you are, uh, your strategy is actually a long-term path that you want to put your business into, and therefore if you decide that branding is a very important tangible in your business, it means that you have to make the investment, and you've got to treat it like an investment, just like as you've got a, someone who's got a piece of plant. Every year, it doesn't mean they've got to mm -hmm. maintain it, they've got to invest in it. At times, they've got to take it out and, and fit in a new one. This is exactly the same concept with brands, is that mm -hmm. you've got to consistently have a degree of what I call maintenance investment. Mm. Uh, in it and then at some point in time you could do something radical which is actually take out the old stuff and put in the new stuff. It's, it's just the, the, the lack of understanding in most of our dealings in that brands as, as are an asset, they might not be a hard assets, but the principle that's involved in managing an asset is just as relevant to brands as it is to managing another piece of physical asset. Yeah. Go we ahead. certainly believe that um, at Ogilvy that uh, brands need to be nurtured and and cared for, as mm. exactly as Derek says. You've mm. got to continuously look after them and nurture them. Uh, it's like watering a garden, mm. you know, the same, the mm. same sort of analogy. Yeah. Quite well, often, Sean, sorry for you, I mean, that's when those, those gaps become so great when organizations don't make that ongoing Absolutely. investment. Absolutely. You know, some of the great brands in the world, even outside of financial services, mm. will make little incremental tweaks, you know, every 18 months, two years, there's, there's, there's some form of activity, activity from a, you know, a fairly dynamic approach to the brand that, mm. that keeps it current, that keeps mm. it connected. So mm. when an organization does nothing for 20 years, then suddenly it just has to make a monumental leap of faith mm. to try and bridge 20 years of in inactivity, Absolutely. to over-dramatize it, but mm. that notion of yeah. don't allow the gap to widen, that wide to become too wide and disconnect. But you don't think it's going to unsettle customers or your client base when you suddenly rebrand? <laughs> well, uh, you, your, your rebranding is driven by trying you trying to remain relevant to your customer. So it's actually not an inside-out approach. Okay. It's an outside-in approach. It's actually saying what matches to customers, what perceptions do they have, what perceptions do we want to have, do you want them to have of our brand. Okay. Uh, if you're actually doing it inside-out, I think it's, a, it's probably quite detrimental to your brand in the long term because you always have a view of your company and at times there might be a massive disconnect between your view and what customers actually expect out of you. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Well,